Oh, they're two different things. Research terminal and upgrades? Oh, this is just the thing that's available on my personal computer. Just seeing what we've already got. This is what we can do. Research new upgrades to dramatically improve the power of your squad members, weapons, and ship. Discover research projects by acquiring new upgrades. For example, if you find an assault rifle upgrade, your scientists can study it, and they may discover a research project to further improve assault rifles. When you purchase a research project, you must pay the specified amount of rare resources. You then gain the upgrade described, uh, and it moves to the upgrade section of the research terminal. Cool. Uh, weapon upgrades are modular technological improvements integrated into any weapon. When a weapon upgrade is obtained, it's automatically integrated. Uh, da da da. 2.5k iridium. We have nearly 19k, so that's probably fine to do. Uh, but let's just see what what else there is. Armor upgrade is modular technology that can be added to your armor to improve its defensive, protective, or medical capabilities. When you obtain new armor upgrades, they will automatically be integrated into your entire squad's armor. Purchase new armor upgrades. Da da da. Okay. Uh, Medigel capacity 2,500, and we've got 26k, so we can definitely do that. Redundant field generator is a shield upgrade. Sometimes when Shepard's shields go down, they are instantly fully restored. Damn. That is great. That is very, very good. Requires one more damage protection upgrade to unlock. Interesting. Uh, trauma module. Unity heals your squad to full health. And you can get that if you get another medigel capacity unlock, which I can do now. Sweet. Okay, so let's get this. 2,500. Done. So now we have that. Uh, and so now we can... Oh, wait, hang on. What's in prototypes? I almost missed this. Uh, although prototype technology is advanced and powerful, it is also extremely expensive to produce and often unstable when used. Thanks to Cerberus' advanced science facilities and the genius of Dr. Morden Solus, you have one of the few facilities in the world capable of producing these technologies. Each technology you produce will be powerful, but will upgrade only a single member of your squad. Okay. Such as... Cerberus Assault Armor. Uh, heavy Weapon Ammo Capacity, Shields and Health. Collector Assault Rifle. That's cool. <laughs> Same principles as a human assault rifle, but its organic components clearly set it apart. Its power source seems to be an internal organ with biotic capacitance. Its ammuni ammunition resembles pellets of metallic enamel that strip shields off enemies with deadly efficiency. Oh, wow, look at that. Regeneration bonus plus 10, storm speed plus 10, health plus 20. That's pretty good. I wouldn't want to wear it though, because it looks so like out there. I I prefer to keep Shepard in like more regular kind of outfits. It, like it looks cool, but I'd feel really dumb. Like just, you know, trotting around Omega wearing that. If you see what I mean. Uh, heavy weapon capacity up. I never used the fucking heavy weapon. God damn it, I never tried it. I just forget it exists. Uh, negotiation bonus plus 10%, that's interesting. Is that like negotiation in terms of when you're buying and selling stuff? I guess, can you even sell stuff in this game? You might not even be able to. Oh, hello, the Eviscerator Shotgun. Is this going to be better than what we've currently got? Probably, right? Should we go for that? Should we go for the Eviscerator Shotgun? Sure. Uh, armor upgrades. Requires one more Medigel capacity to unlock emergency shielding. Oh! Wait, didn't I... Oh, wait, no. I'm thinking of the redundant field generator. Wait, so emergency shielding. Unity rescores... Oh, so this is Unity heals your squad to full health. This is also restores shields to full strength. Right. Okay. And we couldn't afford that anyway. Let's get trauma module. That seems good. Uh, what's ship enhancements? The Normandy represents the cutting edge of Cerberus fleet technology, but further improvements are possible and could assist you in succeeding in missions. 
Discover possible enhancements by talking to your crew. Interesting. We've already done a full lap and haven't got any of these available, but uh, we'll have to do more then. Uh, shall I go for this? I mean, we can get more platinum from scanning the planets and shit, right? So let's just do it. Let's just do it. Uh, right, now we need 20k more platinum to research that, but that will be very good to get. And definitely want this as well. We need another damage protection upgrade. Which is not something we can, like, just get. I'm not seeing a damage protection upgrade anywhere, so I guess we'll find that later. Uh, heavy weapon ammo capacity requires iridium, sure. Let's go for that. Uh, new heavy weapon, a missile launcher. Okay. I mean, we'll have a look at this after I actually use the previous one. Because <laughs> I have not used that at all yet. Alright. Very cool. Nothing... Shepard, how can I help? Oh! I was going to say nothing else to talk with you about, but there totally is. Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more <laughs> samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. That's great. Uh, did these just jump around? I'm pretty sure that was lab setup, right? Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Right, there's no nothing new here, right? This is just what we were just looking at. Oh, never mind. No, this is new. Morden Omnitor. Morden gets 20% tech power damage. Morden built his own Omnitor and can make significant upgrades given the proper materials. 3k, element 0. Element 0 is the hardest to come by. It seems like we never find any element 0 scanning planets, so far at least. We've only found it out in the wild. Uh, but I'm definitely bringing this dude on the next mission, so sure. 20% sounds pretty good. There you go, mate. Enjoy. Shepard, how can I help? Uh, if I talk to him again about upgrades, is he going to give me another Any new thing? Any ideas on other ways or... to prepare for the collectors? Sorry, I've done what I can. Focusing on studying collector tech now. Ah, okay. Anything new about when I click talking about you? Have you got a minute to talk? Not now. Working on collector data. Have ruled out artificially intelligent virus. Unless it's very intelligent. And toying with me. Hmm. Tests. Anything else? Huh? <laughs> okay, I'll no, that's work. good. We'll be here if you need me. Cool. Well, we are definitely a lot stronger than we were just minutes ago. <laughs> All righty. You got anything new to say? Morden's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, oh. but he is like a hamster on coffee. He's going to be a very productive member of the team. Anyway, what's up? I genuinely was not expecting to, her to actually have something to say. I guess we should do a full, uh, a full walk around the ship then and see who has stuff to say. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? I. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Uh, okay, those are the same. I better go. Okay. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. What have we got? Healing of your facial scars from Chief Medical Officer Chakwas. Commander, I've done further investigation regarding your facial scarring and the old adage of mind over matter holds true. Negative attitudes and aggressive acts create adverse reactions with your cybernetic implants, while peaceful thoughts and compassionate actions promote healing. If you maintain a positive outlook, I believe your facial scarring will heal on its own. Otherwise, there is surgical equipment we could use to in insulate your cybernetic implants and accelerate your healing regardless of your mental outlook. I've updated plans for the new medical equipment to your research terminal in the tech lab. Cool. Cheers. Uh, medbay upgrade. Okay. Well, that 
we'll have to head back in there in a sec then. Uh, let's go see if Joker has anything to say. Do -do -do, nothing to look at here. Oh, has Edie got anything to say? Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Was this new? Do you have a specific inquiry? No, That's this all is for the now. same. Logging you out, Shepard. Joe Carr. Commander. How are things in the cockpit? I assume everything is going well up here. I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it <laughs> day to day. Uh, Cerberus disagrees, unfortunately. I'm no fan either, but we're stuck with it. Until I find a soldering gun. It's gotta be some wires I can cross to make it hurt. No sabotage. Understood? Yeah, yeah, don't break the boss's toys. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. <laughs> Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? Yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What about the old crew? What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were Shocker. your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Sad times. Sad times indeed. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at the new shotgun. Does that automatically get applied? Katana shotgun. Eviscerator shotgun. It doesn't get automatically applied, it looks like. So I'll do that. Uh, okay. Morden, what do you use? You use pistol, and that might be it. Oh, Zaid, right. He uses a assault rifle and a sniper rifle. Nice. Probably the one I bought is better, I would imagine. Uh, was there anything else down here? Oh, Jacob, right. <laughs> was there anything else? Yes, a human. Commander, can I help you with something? Ooh, hello. Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The Collectors cut her like butter. This armor cut her like just butter. isn't top of the line anymore. Yeah, People innit. will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in Secret Dev before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. Sure. Oh, ship enhancements. We've got two now. Uh, heavy ship armor and the med bay upgrade. Right. Oh my god, 50,000 platinum? Upgrades to Normandy's medical facilities with an advanced dermal regeneration unit. Using this unit will immediately and completely heal your scars. Further scarring will not occur, regardless of the actions you take. That does not seem worth it for 50k, unless there's some secret thing to do with that that I just don't know about. 50 fucking k. What about this? Solaris armor tech. The Asari made Solaris armor upgrade is attached to the ship's superstructure. This will help the ship hold together if hit by a blast powerful enough to penetrate its shields. Uh. 15k. I've only got 17k. That sounds more important though. I don't know. I wonder if that actually has an effect on anything. Probably, right? I wonder. Sure. Fuck it. Let's get it, otherwise I'm going to be thinking and worrying about it if I know that such an option exists and that I have not taken it. Can I help you with something? Uh, is that it? Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? We've got the best armor available. The rest is outside my expertise, Commander. Okay, uh... 
Thoughts on the mission we just did? How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? If Morden's modifications hold up, we've got a shot. If they don't, we're dead. Seems like that was always a strong possibility, though. Anything else, Commander? Okay. Uh, so he does have new dialogue with these old options. What do you think of the state of the crew? Well, we don't have a full complement. We don't stand a chance without the right specialists on side. Anything else, Commander? Okay, that one won't have changed. We'll talk later. Commander. Okay. Do do do. Uh. We bought some stuff. Is that getting displayed somewhere? That's that. Where does the stuff we bought go? Oh, 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 it's this. It's here. What's a good angle to look at this? Oh, that is pretty neat. Oh, I'm glad I've bought these. They look cool. They look very cool. Is that the, um... This one on the left, is that the Citadel, uh, fucking... What's the word I'm looking for? The Council's ship? Sure, here you go. Get fed, bitches. How's old? Oh! Hello. I did not know this room existed. Just took a standing shit there. What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. I'm pretty sure we talked to her when we first came here, right? Other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel. I think I went down one too far accidentally, but that's fine because we have something to give to these guys, don't we? The new armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profiles. But engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. I love it when you talk dirty. <laughs> I love these two. You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion 5 poker. Want to join us? Absolutely. On, the Commander doesn't want to play cards with greasy yeah, dudes like us. I'll play. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. Go easy on me. <laughs> Remember, I'm your boss. My skelly and five's a bit rusty. You'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. You won 500 credits playing skelly and five. Aww. Hey, gentlemen, I can't believe we fell for that. <laughs> it's so worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me at my own game. You're all right, Shepard. Okay, I'm slightly bummed we didn't get to see that. Remember last time when we, uh, when it faded to black after Dr. Chakwas offered us a drink? And I thought it was going to just cut past the scene where we actually drink, but it didn't. And we had a nice chat and everything. Because that happened, I thought when we were talking about playing a game, I thought it would actually let us do that and have a chat with them there. But that time, it cut to black and just skipped past it. So that's what feels bad. What can we do for you, Commander? Well, that's Area. all the same. Will do, Commander. And it's the same if I talk to you, right? Yeah. What can we do for you, Commander? Carry on. Will do, Commander. Uh, there wasn't anything we could do with this, was there? No. That Dr. Chakwas conversation got my hopes up that that was a thing that would happen with all of that kind of stuff. Uh, was there ever any... There wasn't any reason to come down here, was there? No. Nope. There was not. So, that just leaves... Oh, wait, fuck. I got turned around. <laughs> Crew quarters. It's just too dangerous for them in New Canton. I'm shipping my family back to Earth. You can afford that? Cerberus looks out for their own. They're funding the transport for me. 
It's the least they can do when we're putting our lives on the line. Nice. There's the lose. Yeah. Has the doc got anything new to say? What's up, doc? Commander, I very much enjoyed sharing that ice brandy with you, but I hope I wasn't too unprofessional. Brandy All goes straight to my head. I enjoyed it's it. It's nice to see you let your hair down. Guess I hadn't realized how much those feelings needed airing, but I didn't give you much of a chance to vent. So tell me now, what do you think? Everyone's depending on us. We won't let them down. They just don't make them like you anymore, Shepard. Well, promise me we'll share a bottle every year. The next one is on me. Every year? How about week? <laughs> How about every week, Doc? How may I help you, Commander? I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. That is the same. Nothing new. No. Right. Rupert, Anything... something different with tonight's meal. Seems like you put in more food and less ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep talking. Wow, rude. You put in more food and less ass. How can I help you, Commander? You have everything you need. Absolutely. Since you set up my kitchen with proper supplies, thanks I again. I won't take any more. Back to work. Miranda. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing hey. the operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. I'm good at my job, but I'm not Cerberus. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. Mm, not really the same thing, is it, Miranda? I mean, she probably doesn't know. Seems like the different parts of Cerberus are pretty kept apart from each other, so they don't know what goes on in the other parts of it. But not quite the same thing giving the fucking saviour of the galaxy a second chance compared with giving the multi-award-winning terrorist organi organization a second chance. Like, we saw so many examples of that in one. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. Huh. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture, and I feel like I have a purpose here. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. Man, Shepard's hands were dirty We've both been there. been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Eh. I mean, you don't... You don't know. Like, you may well have been great without that, but you... If it was... Your father designed you that way from birth, then you just didn't get the opportunity to find out. But I wouldn't say that that, like... Is what makes you you, you know? Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes yeah. anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Hmm. There was when we were when we were talking about her, there were two options. One was like about Cerberus, and then the bottom left one was about how angry her dad was when she left. And I thought we'd be able to do both of them, but it only let us do one and then didn't bring up the option again, so I really hope they talk about it here. 
It's not the same writing, but maybe? Who exactly is your father? A businessman, but a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used by your father. Wait, is this the same? Cerberus? Maybe. I you like are who you are. That's easy. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His what? Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Yikes. Man, we're really not going to get to have that dialogue about how, how angry her father Thanks was. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Feels bad. Anytime, I want to hear. Oh yeah, anytime? Miranda. Let's go again then. What can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. God damn it. Maybe another time. Ooh. Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Yeah, take a look. Uh, more ship enhancements? Advanced mineral scanner. Don't have enough iridium. Uh, the a android? Is that just pronounced android? Is it just a useless Y in there? Proprietary Argus planet scan technology has been integrated into the ship systems. This will greatly speed up the planet scanning process. Hmm. Speed up how? <laughs> I'm not sure I know what that means. Because there is no time-based component to planet scanning. It's just you go to the planet, you scan with the left trigger, and then you get it with the right trigger. But it's all like instant. I don't really know how you could speed it up. There's no, there's no like... This takes a while. Hmm. I don't know if that would be worth it. Because fifteen thousand is quite a bit, and I, I there's I, yeah, I just don't know what I don't know what it could mean that it speeds it up. <laughs> weird. 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 Need that. Absolutely need that. We're good Whenever on you those have the time and resources, let me know. You have a minute, Miranda. There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Have you got any ideas? A few ideas, yeah. Yeah, take a look. Wait, she's got even more. Oh no, it was just that I didn't immediately buy it. The other ones I immediately bought, and then they said they don't have anything Whenever else. Whenever you have the time and resources, let me know. The crew's working well, and Oops. the ship appears to I think be I performing to specifications. Okay. Okay, I'll we're let good. You work. Of course, Commander. Cool. Uh, where's Zaid? He's supposed to be on the ship somewhere, right? But I feel like I've gone around and I have not seen him unless he's hiding in the loo. You hiding in the loo, Zaid? You hiding in the woman's loo? How have I missed this dude? He has to be in the CIC, right? He wasn't in the crew's quarters. He wasn't in engineering. So that just leaves the CIC, where I started. But wouldn't I have CIC-seen him when I was here? This is just the lab. He's not in the lab, is he? No. He's not in the briefing room. This is Jacob's joint. Am I being blind? Where the fuck is this dude? Hanging out in the airlock? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Unless he's just not on the ship, because you don't have to talk to him here. But he, we, we said, meet you on the ship, right? Hmm. Huh. 
Hmm. No messages for you, Commander. Good, good. Oh, we got that level. Sick. Uh to it to charge. That's what we like to see. Wait, did we have pull as an option before? Am I going insane or was pull not an option for us? Until now. <laughs> hmm. Okay, nice. So we got charge level 2, so now our 50% of shields comes back when we do that. I mean, that's going to make charging into groups a little more viable. 75% for the next one. We'll need... If you get two points per level, though, we'll need two levels for that one. Uh, what does better incendiary ammo do? Just more damage. Yeah, okay. Need to get shockwave to level two to get pull. What does shockwave do again? A string of concussive fields in a narrow path in front of you, violently knocking targets aside. That does sound pretty cool. For sure. Haven't used the flashbang at all. Should probably... I could, I could, mm, that could be a way of getting, uh, of getting the shotgun stuff to work better if I zoom on in there with my charge and then I drop a flashbang. And then they're incapacitated. It's only for three seconds, but mm, maybe that would work. Next question is, do I get Shockwave rank 1? Well, I mean, I guess I may as well with my next level up, right? Because I'm only going to get 2 points, so I'm not going to be able to buy charge level 3. If I spend 1 on Shockwave, I'll still have 1 point left, and then the next level, I'll go up to 3 and can get that. So, I guess my next level, I get Shockwave 1, and then... One more for charge level two, and then two more for charge level four. That would make sense. That would make sense. Um, hmm. Kind of tempted to do that one next, honestly. I know we're, like, at Omega, so we should be doing uh, Archangel and... Uh, wasn't there something else to do at Omega? The Professor... Oh, the Veteran was Zaid. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I kind of feel like maybe we should do this next. What are we thinking? Is that a good idea? Travel to Zoya Fire Ish Ismar Frontier. Wonder how far away that is. Uh, over here. Maybe we should just clear up the Omega stuff while we're there. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just thinking, like, it would be cool to take two new companions on this next one. So we've got Mordin. Uh, and if we get Zaid now... Well, I mean, we can take him now, but I mean, like, I, I don't really know him. Like, we just had one brief conversation. Ah, no. It, you know what? It doesn't matter. We can take him anyway. Let's just cancel that shit. Uh... Do, do, do. Doc. We can just bring him anyway. I don't know. In my head, I was like, I don't want to bring him because I've barely spoken to him. But, I mean, we'll get his thoughts on stuff as we go through the mission. Like, yeah. I guess I was just thinking because, like, Morden, you had to do a mission to recruit him in the first place, so we already, like, get to know him during that, whereas Zaid is now available without us actually having done a mission with him, so it just feels weird, I guess. 
Uh, abilities incinerate. Submachine guns and heavy pistols. Cool, cool. Welcome to the squad, my dude. And Zaid. Concussive shot, disruptor, ammo, inferno grenade. Okay. Uh, and it's going to let me level you up now, right? Yes. Ten points. Alrighty, alrighty. Uh, concussive shot. What is this? An explosive shot knocks down and damages your opponents, leaving them open for additional attacks. 45 damage. Uh, goes up to 60 and higher force. Goes up to 75 and higher force. And then finally evolves into heavy concussive shot. Significantly increases the power of your concussive shot, blasting enemies off their feet. Uh, or concussive blast, high energy explosive charges, give your shot an impact radius large enough to knock down multiple enemies. Enemies. That's probably the way we'd go. Uh, disruptor ammo. Rips through shields and shreds synthetic targets. The ammunition pulses electromagnetically, disrupting shields and synthetic enemies. 20% uh, of weapon damage, but only to shields and synthetics. Doesn't do fuck all against armor or regular health. Uh, this disrupts their shields and disrupts synthetic enemies. Then here, it incapacitates synthetic enemies. Uh, same again there. This makes your weapon overheat though? There's no overheat for 1 and 2, but then you go to 3 and it says weapon overheat duration 6 seconds. Hmm. And then finally, heavy. Uh, synthetics critically overload and explode. That'd be very good to bring against like Geth and stuff. Uh, well actually, are the Geth even going to be around to fight in this game? Because like... Two years ago, we were hunting them all down and getting rid of them. And we certainly haven't seen any yet. Don't answer that, by the way, obviously. I'm just uh, just theorizing. I wonder if we'll even be fighting any in this game. Or whether it will just be, like, if the synthetic enemies will be the mechs and stuff that we've seen. Uh, squad. Every member has it. Right, yeah. Mercenary veteran. Uh, health and weapon damage. Quite a significant boost to ha weapon damage just from the first one. 12.5%. 25, 37 uh, and then probably 50 if we go for Warlord. That's pretty cool. Inferno Grenade. Squad members not loyal. Right, this is the one we can't do. It's not just buy other stuff. Launches a volatile grenade that explodes on impact, sending fragments flying in all directions that cause extra damage. This fire damage is effective against armor. 50 damage over 4 seconds with 3 fragments. 60 with 4 fragments. 70 with 5 fragments. And then eventually, advanced plasma burns uh, does more damage or splash damage. Okay, it seems like quite often the final choice is just, do you want it to do bigger damage or wider damage? <laughs> um, okay, well, we'll go concussive shot rank 2. We'll get disruptor ammo 1. Uh, we could go 4, 5, 6, 7 on these or we could just give him straight up more health let's go second rank disrupt ammo and 25% bonus damage is pretty tasty eh let's go concussive shot and let's go 12.5% damage up. And then next level we can get maybe Disrupt Ramo rank 3. That seemed good. That seems good. Alright, Mordin, you up. You've got Incinerate. Exploding Flame damages the health and armor of anyone nearby. Uh, permanently stops their health regen. Ah, nice. Very effective against armor. 130 points over 3 seconds. 50 over 3. 70 over 3. And finally, a uh, heavy blast burns through nearly anything it hits or splash zone is increased. Uh, cryo blast. Omnitool fires a mass of super cooled subatomic particles capable of snap freezing impacted targets. Huh. 
Uh, freeze duration just gets longer. The impact radius never seems to increase, just the freeze duration gets longer. And then finally, uh, maximize your chances of freezing multiple targets or potency and duration are unmatched. Interesting. Solarian Scientist uh, increases his health, weapon damage, and shields. That's pretty good. 6%, 12%, 18%. Uh, huge shield increase or huge damage increase. Neural Shock, guessing he's not loyal. Yeah. Delivers a shock to the opponent's nerves, briefly incapacitating one organic enemy, specifically, at a time. Uh, delivers so much nerve damage, his accuracy is permanently impaired. Jesus. Uh, same again, but more damage. And finally, even longer or multiple targets, as usual. Okay, uh, let's do... I feel like same again, probably, right? Well... Actually, maybe Cryoblast. Let's go Cryoblast up to max. No, not up to max, up to three, rather, instead of Incinerate. Uh, and then Solarian Scientist, do we care? 6%? Eh. Maybe we should save it for better Cryoblast, because that seems like that could be a real game changer. Just completely take people out of the fight. Huh. I'm tempted to get that, but if I get that, I cannot get this next time he levels up. So I think let's just leave him with two left and then get the advanced cryoblast next time. That seems that seems good. Okay. Okay. Nice. Uh and Don't now eradicated Shepard. Dr. Solis' nice. assistant has been helping any patients with complications. Excellent. Knew he could do it. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlight that may have information on him. Cool. As we all stride towards the camera. My striding looks smooth. My companion's striding does not look smooth. That is quite funny. <laughs> right, the new the new dream team here. Two new people along for the ride. And uh, we will do this Archangel one next time. For now, though, we have a little bit of codex to do. Uh, any primary? A little bit of primary. Let's just do it all, primary and secondary, because I don't think there's a lot. Uh, first up, the primary. What have we got? Uh, this one's a new one, right? Asari-made Solaris armor can resist even the tremendous heat and kinetic energy of starship weapons. The armor is nearly unsurpassed in strength because its central material, carbon nanotube sheets woven with diamond chemical vapor deposition, are crushed by mass effect fields into super dense layers able to withstand extreme temperatures. That process also compensates for diamond's brittleness. Diamond armor itself has two limiting disadvantages. First, while nanotubes and CBD diamond construction has become cheaper in recent years, it remains prohibitively expensive to coat starships or aircraft larger than fighters in Solaris material. Second, the armor must be attached to the ship's superstructure, so shock waves from massive firepower can still destroy the metals beneath the armor itself. A popular misconception holds that the diamond composition of Solaris armor gives it its sparkle. In fact, atmospheric nitrogen impurities during the super-hot forging process give the armor its metallic gray or yellow sheen. I spotted another discrepancy between what he said and what the text said. The text says, gives it a sparkle. He said, gives it its sparkle. How dare they? How dare they not read it correctly? That is unacceptable. Uh, publications. Uh, Fornax. Laun oh god, it's the hentai. Launched in 2167, Fornax magazine described itself as the galaxy's finest xenophilia. By its fifth year, Fornax became the first human magazine to offer full five sensory stimulation. A previously unaffordable magazine technology made profitable by the economy of scale. With a monthly publishing run of 127 million available in both hard copy and direct download, Fornax offers a range of alien models with particular emphasis on the unisexual Asari, although both genders of Quarians, Drell... Drell? 
Do we know what Drell is? I feel like that's a new one. Batarians and Volus are regularly depicted. Specialty additions such as Genet Elcor and... Oh, for fuck's sake. Crogasm. Oh. Oh, no. Crogasm. Service devoted, but smaller markets. Yeah, I bet they service them. Oh, fuck me. Crogasm. Oh, Jesus. Uh, hello? Where's the new one? There it is, right, the bomb. Mass accelerators. Mass accelerators propel solid metal slugs via electromagnetic, electromagnetic attraction and repulsion. A slug lightened by mass effect field can be accelerated to extremely high speeds, permitting previously unattainable projectile velocities. The primary determinant of a mass accelerator's destructive power is length. The longer the barrel, the longer the slug can be accelerated, the higher the slug's final velocity and therefore the greater its kinetic impact. Slugs are designed to squash or shatter on impact, increasing the energy they transfer to its target. Without collapsibility, slugs would punch through the targets while inflicting only minimal damage. I mean, getting a fucking hole punch through you, still not what I would call minimal damage, but uh, I can see how it would not be as much as shattering. Rather than being mounted on the exterior, starship guns are housed inside hulls and visible only as gun portholes from outside. A ship's main gun is a large spinal mount weapon running 90% of the hull's length. Wow, okay. While possessing destructive power equal to that of a tactical nuclear weapon, main guns are difficult to aim. Because ships must be able to point their barrels almost directly at their targets, main guns are best used for long-range bombardment fire. Approximately 40% of the hull's width, broadside guns inflict less damage and can be mounted with greater numbers and more flexibility. Modern human Kilimanjaro class dreadnoughts mount three decks with 26 broadside accelerators apiece for a total salvo weight of 78 slugs per side, firing once every two seconds. However, mass accelerators produce recoil equal to their impact energy. While the mass effect fields suspending the rounds mitigate the recoil, recoil shock can still rattle crews and damage systems. Uh, huh. Codex specifically about Zaid? Okay. Planet Zoya. Bring firearms and antihistamines, is what veteran guides say about this lush garden world. First colonized in 2160, Zoya's temperate and tropical zones are overrun with plants and fungi of all kinds. As a result, the air in most habitable areas is choked with pollen and spores that range from benign to deadly. The scattered colonies across the planet have resorted to clear cutting and slash and burn farming to create habitable zones and more and the more blah, 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 and the more rural areas where the spores are thickest are populated only by vorture. Lax ecological laws allow mining and manufacturing industries to flourish and pollute cheaply, as the planet's carrying capacity far outstrips the current size of its colonies. Zoya is also home to the Blue Suns Mercenary Company, who dominate the colony's security forces. The Suns enjoy nearly unlimited influence with local politicians and judges, ensuring no other private military contractors can compete with them economically. Nearly every colony has a Suns recruiting station, if not a training camp, though this has hardly made the planet any safer. Piracy, drugs and vice and political violence are commonplace. Cool! Look forward to going there. And uh, there we have it. That is the first time in this playthrough that we have an empty codex. Love to see it. Well, next time we return to Omega and we hunt down our next companion, Archangel. And uh, yeah, should be good times. Then we will probably do Zaid next after that. I just felt like it would be... I kind of wanted to do it now, but I felt like it would be a bit weird to just like leave Omega, go all the way to somewhere else, and then come straight back. And now that fuel cost is an actual thing on the galaxy map... There's also that in the back of my mind as well. So we'll do it now. Uh, but yeah, should be good. Should be good to see how these guys perform. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Mass Effect 2. Thanks for watching. See you then.